All right, can we just take a moment to appreciate how freaking good this car looks when it's all nice and clean? Literally just woke up, good night's sleep, caught me, drop, dropped in on some uh, 200 milligram caffeine pill. Been rocking with those lately. It's more convenient than drinking coffee and shit. I can just freaking pop a pill and be energized. But yeah, we're gonna throw on these camber and toe arms. I've got a plan, so I've got my alignment sheet here. I think I'm studying my homework. So the driver, a lot of people driving by, I'm probably thinking this kid's freaking weird. Um, I got my alignment sheets here. Uh, so the driver, rear toe, we're only messing with the rear stuff, is basically perfect. I think it's like roughly two millimeters toe in, which is perfect. Um, so I'm pretty sure the camber in the toe is self-conscious moment. Alright, uh, so I need to actually look at the suspension with the wheel off, but I'm pretty sure the camber and the toe arm are pretty much like I don't know how to say this. Like the toe arm pretty much just adjusts toe and the camber arm just adjusts camber. Like just the way it's set up, like the toe arm is like a heavy angle on it and the camber arm is almost straight off the subframe. So they shouldn't affect each other too much. So if I start with the passenger side and I guess I could just put the toe arm first, then I can use the toe plates and use these specs to get the toe basically perfect. And then on the toe arm on the driver's side, I can just match the length that the OEM one already was. So then hopefully it won't change at all. And then with the camber arms, hopefully it won't affect the toe too much. And then I can just use like my freaking app on my phone uh, I forgot what it's called, but the little degree thing. And then just put the car down, put the lower control arms on jack stands. So like the car is loaded up and just adjust the camber until it's at one degree, which is the OEM spec. I'm thinking that should work pretty good. Um, I guess we'll see how it goes. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if I'm confident enough in that to not get an alignment tomorrow, but if I do feel confident, enough in it, it will save me 230 bucks, which is a pretty significant amount of money to save. So either way, we're going to throw them on there. My tires are out for delivery right now. And last time FedEx came at like 12, 12 in the afternoon, which should be perfect. So hopefully they do the same today. We shall see. But yeah, I'm freaking excited. It's fucking cold as shit. Uh, and on some David Goggins shit, but I, I wish it was colder, honestly. Uh, <laughs> so... Yeah, let's fucking pull this car out. Hopefully my neighbors don't want to kill me for working on my car in the driveway and uh, start wrenching on this bad boy. Get a little unboxing as well. Bro, my hands are fucking freezing. I need like some freaking gloves. The good thing is when it's this cold out, it's like perfect during the day, but the morning it is uh, less than ideal I would say but definitely better than it being fucking 95 out honestly it's like two separate packages it's kind of ignorant I don't know why but literally everybody sells them like this where it's like it's like yeah it's only 200 bucks but you have to buy two sets <laughs> it's like okay like, there's no reason why you'd buy one set, so it's kind of ignorant. Uh, I'd say it's like 400 bucks. Made in China. Whew. Yeah, look decent. Some good old rubber. Spherical bushings, a little cotter pin on this bad boy. It's a piece of metal. 
That is for sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if they're the exact same part. I remember I was trying to research this and I couldn't find a good answer. Cause some dude online said you could just get the camber arm separately or the toe arm, but I can't really find anything on like like that online, but So yeah, it does look like it's the exact same fucking thing. So I guess if you wanted to, you could probably just buy one set and be able to adjust toe or camber. So I guess maybe that's why they don't sell them in sets of four. But I'd probably need it all four anyways. Even if I was able to fuck with the toe, I'd still have like three degrees of camber, which is probably less than ideal for like straight line traction and just tire wear. Probably don't need this. Probably should read that, but that's not any fun. Alright, I'm pull the car out. Get her up in the air. This tire is absolutely fucked, but somehow even after our horrible alignments and literally flipping the tires, we got pretty even wear out of this thing, which is pretty crazy, but yeah. Literally hurt yourself freaking touching these freaking wires, but that's not too shabby for all the sketchy shit we did. Alrighty. So, I was able to get on Real OEM, which if you don't know what that is, it's like just a website that has all the freaking like part numbers and stuff. So, the, the bolt and the nut back here is M12, so it should be a 19 mil. And then the one on the front side is an M14, so it should be a 24 or 21 millimeter socket. Unfortunately, it's pretty freaking tight back here, so I don't think we're getting a freaking uh, impact gun in there. So we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. All right, finally got something to work. So, hey, it's a black cat over there. So it is an 18 mil, it's not a 19 mil. This is strange, but so we got the 18 mil wrench on the inside. If I can get it on there. And we got our three eighths. The freaking half inch one doesn't freaking fit. And this one doesn't work, so I gotta freaking use it like a freaking wrench. But it's working though. Slowly but surely. Fucking motherfucker. Uh, you get the fucking point. <laughs> I'll be back once I get it off. Alright, so we have the toe arm pretty much basically off. Also, when I first started, I tried to fucking just do a crazy long extension like through here with the freaking swivel socket on it. On the Milwaukee, and just rip the freaking thing apart yeah, it's definitely more of a pain in the butt than I was expecting but uh, we got her done so on the inside part it's like a Torx it's like a T30 I think it might be a T35 honestly but I used the T30 I get just got it cracked loose so there wasn't like too much pressure on the Torx bit just to hold this part of it while you're cranking the bolt off. But seems kind of tough to pull the toe arm out without pulling the camber arm off as well. I'd have to do like some weird crazy stuff when I can just pull the camber arm off and make it easier. Hopefully it won't be too tough since it's kind of freaking loose at this point. But yeah, I'm just gonna pull the camber arm off, do them both at the same time. Probably just leave the camber arm and the toe arm basically the same size but we'll leave it loose so we can adjust it easy so yeah let's yoink this bad boy off of here I'm gonna start with the inside because it's probably harder tight in here. I'll be back once I get off this 
gonna take me a freaking quick minute. These bad boys are about ready to come out. So I did do the smart thing and watched a video of somebody else on YouTube and they used 18 mil wrench and then another 18 mil wrench that ratchets. So I ran to AutoZone, got myself this bad boy, it cost like freaking $17, but uh, it would literally take me like an hour without this. It took me, it's still a pain in the butt, but it's like maybe like five to 10 minutes with this. And then same thing as the other one on this one, it's just a 21 millimeter wrench, which also would be a lot better with a ratcheting wrench, but I'll just make this work because it's not as bad because it's not freaking way back there. I can at least freaking get my hands in here and just the Torx T30 that I'm using. It might be a T35, but T30 works. So that's completely off. I just gotta, this one's already super loose. I just gotta pull it out the rest of the way here. Honestly, I probably don't even need the wrench if I can fit my fingy back there. Barely. Oh my fucking god, I've literally been going to war with this fucking stupid bolt. I won't even fucking focus. Please focus. I guess I just manually focus it. Bro, this stupid fucking bolt, bro. It's literally like wedged in there, and it's not even. I got the freaking thing out. I literally just got angry enough. I got a freaking vice grip, and was just yanking on it, bro. This thing is a nightmare. I might literally just go to the store and buy a freaking like a cutter wheel, so I can just cut the other one off once I unbolt it, and then hopefully I can just fit a smaller bolt, bro. That thing should not fit in there. There's no way. I'm ever getting that bolt back in there. I can't even get it out. Shit, it's fucking stupid, bro. Yeah, we're finally pretty much friggin' done. This was an absolute nightmare. I don't want to say I was ever close to quitting, but we were, we were getting there. It is a nightmare trying to get that bolt in, and then I don't know, this whole thing is a nightmare. It's like trying to do freaking open heart surgery. But if you're doing it yourself, and I need to remember this for myself because we still got to do a whole nother side. But so I think I was originally screwing myself because I had the other wheel on the ground because the sway bar is in the way of this bolt. So you need to jack this wheel up. But I think the other side being on the ground was totally fucking with the sway bar. So you can basically put the toe arm on first. And then when you're doing the camber arm, you need to put the back in first or else you'll be fucked. And then you need to make sure the car or the, like the suspension is jacked up or else you won't be able to fit the bolt in. It'll just fucking rub against the sway bar. And then you can put this part in after you let the suspension back down. I think that's the best way to do it. But it's definitely a freaking pain in the butthole. But both of these ends are tight. Um, this shit's just finger tight. Loosen this up so we can adjust it. And we just gotta tighten these ends. It should be even easier because I can use the impact up top here. And it's kind of nice. There's just a, a bolt on a nut on each side instead of like the OEM where it's like a freaking tie rod end. So you have to use a freaking a wrench and a freaking Torx bit, which is kind of obnoxious. But I believe we should be able to just throw a 21 on this dang impact and just fucking zap her down. It also looks pretty badass because it kind of matches with the brake caliper, which is kind of cool. Something I hadn't taken into consideration. Freaking peasy. Now yeah, we just gotta do this bottom one, which might be 
a little bit more difficult just because I don't think we can get a impact on this one. I have to do it the old fashioned way. So as per usual, it'll probably be easier the second time around, but god damn if that wasn't a freaking absolute nightmare. We still gotta freaking do actual alignment adjustments, but I'm honestly kinda looking forward to that part. Freaking Torx bit bullshit. It might be a little wobbly because it's still fucking loose, but so I'm trying to think. Assuming the camber won't mess up the toe too much, I'm just gonna go ahead and try and adjust the camber first, and we can go ahead and fuck with the toe. We're gonna have to put the car back on the ground for the toe so we can do the camber while it's still in the air. All right, y'all. I low-key just been grinding away, I just threw on some headphones and I was like, I just need to get shit done. Uh, trying to avoid any thoughts inside of my head. I haven't uh, taken time off work in a bit and uh, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but you got the toe going. So basically, if you remember the toe or the alignment spreadsheet the thing, uh, on the driver's side, there's 0.2 degrees of toe. So if you put that into inches, that's like roughly, it's like 0.9 millimeter or I think 0.9 of an inch, which is like a tenth of an inch, which is super close to an eighth of an inch. So uh, basically I got the toe plates out. I was adjusting camber first, but I'm going to double check it just because I'm guessing the toe is going to move the camber just a little bit. But... The wheel does look super far forward, which might be kind of weird, but uh, but basically on the toe plates, I mean, I can't really show you guys because I kind of have to like, yank on it, but basically we have about 75 inches over here, 75 and one eighth over here, so that is basically an eighth inch of toe in. So basically this, since the driver's side is like we'll say an eighth inch of toe in and we have an eighth inch total of toe in right now that means the passenger side is basically zero toe which is what i want to do for now so once we get the passenger side perfect we can go ahead and start on the driver's side we're basically using the driver's side as like our baseline right now so a toe in is perfect right now i just got to tighten everything up and then we're just going to make sure well, actually i'm going to pull the car in first just to make the camber still make sure the camber is still good and then we can tighten everything up start putting the driver's side together i guess we're probably going to be racing the sun here a little bit it's not going down yet it's like about to start going down so just gonna throw my headphones back on and keep grinding As soon as I walked out here, dude, just dropping off my tires, they look so freaking badass. I might still have time to go mount them. Discount tire closes at 6.30, but, all right, so we have a whole fucking situation. I gotta show you guys the caster on this rear wheel because it's fucking absurd. All right, so basically I shouldn't have bought two sets of these camber arms, which I guess is why they call them camber arms and they aren't like toe arms on the website. I didn't realize that. So I could have sworn on the forums people say that they've done this. You know, like buy two sets and you just can adjust it like that. But I'm show you guys my fucking 
mad scientist diagram, but my notes is like insane right now. Like just working through every problem and the best way to handle it. So basically, here, let me show you guys the diagram first because it kind of explains my problem. I understand that this is chicken scratch and probably looks fucking insane, but if it'll focus. I guess I can just put it on the screen while I talk about it because I don't know if that's going to work. And basically, so the way the camber arm is, it's already kind of angled forwards. So when I add positive camber, it pushes the wheel forward. And then <laughs> the wheel was already like way towed out, like like an inch of toe out, right? So then the toe arm is literally angled towards the front of the car. So I need to shorten it to get toe in. That pushes the wheel even <laughs> further forward. So both of my adjustments that I need to make big adjustments of are moving the wheel forward. So the wheel is like all the way in the front of the wheel out. There's no way it wouldn't rub and it looks fucking absurd. Like it just looks bad, like it shouldn't be like that. So basically I need to get a, a traction arm. All this shit's so confusing. They need like different names for all these things. It's like so confusing. I didn't even know that these traction arms like existed until right now. So luckily, Megan Racing sells those, and it's like roughly the same price. And luckily, I haven't put those ones on, so hopefully I can return those. So basically, I'll be able to swap those out without losing any money. And I'm actually pretty confident that I can do the alignment myself well enough to where I'm confident with it. So that'll save me like 230 bucks. But yeah, basically, the alignment is good on the passenger side now, but... Uh, I mean, the caster is like insane. Like, there's no way I can drive like that. There's no way it won't fuck up my, like, the rear quarter. And I'll show you guys. It looks fucking insane. So, the plan is for right now, because I don't, <laughs> that was enough of a pain to get those ones on there. The last thing I want to fucking do right now as the sun's going down is put the old stuff back on. So, since the driver's side, Basically, if I want to use these arms, I have to sacrifice either camber or toe. Toe is going to fuck up the tires way faster. So I'm just going to adjust the toe so that it's perfect and then let the camber be wherever it needs to be to have the wheel at least not in the fucking total front of the wheel well. So that's what we're going to do for now. On the driver's side, the toe is already in a good spot. It's like an eighth of an inch toe in, which is fine. It's close enough to zero. That's where that's fine. So we're just going to leave the driver's side. We're not even going to touch the driver's side right now. We're going to leave the aftermarket arms on the passenger side. And then once the new toe arms come, the traction arms. Also, the traction arms make way more sense as toe arms because, like, the way it attaches to the knuckle and the subframe, it literally looks like a tie rod. Whereas this one is just like a regular fucking goddamn mosquitoes, bro. This is it like a regular fucking, like... <laughs> Just part of like a multi-link suspension, like it should not be used to adjust toe. So once the new ones come, I'll go ahead and take what we're using as a camber arm off because it's the same exact part and we'll use that as the toe arm. Wait, no, I actually got it back. This shit's so confusing, bro. So we're actually going to leave the camber arm, the one that adjusts the camera, they're the same fucking arm. Uh, we're going to leave the, the one that adjusts camber on the passenger side and we're going to take the one that we're using to adjust toe and put that on the driver's side so we have camber adjustment and then the new arms that are coming the traction arms will be used to, do it, to adjust toe hopefully that makes any fucking sense basically I'm going to try and hurry the fuck up so that I can get the toe right and basically just let the camber be what it needs to be and then hopefully I can rush over to Discount Tire to get these tires mounted. So I don't know if y'all can, can tell, but it's like so far forward, bro. And I'm about to put even bigger tires on, so there's no way that shit would fucking work. And I've looked at other pictures, and like most F80s look like this, but not like that extreme. Like there's no way that wouldn't rub. Like I'll show you. And mind you, we're putting on 
10 millimeter wider tires that are also the same profile so they'll be taller as well so yeah that's simply not gonna work so yeah I'm just gonna get adjusting hopefully it won't take me too long just because you kind of have to fucking go back and forth and I got to pull the car in the fucking driveway every time to adjust the fucking or to like read the camber because it's not fucking even in the driveway so I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit get her done